I'm finally back on the server here. And first order of business, got my hyperversus here tag. Uh, this is gonna be my last attempt trying to find the pearl that I need. I have very low hopes though. And, um, I also edited the texture pack to have rainbow XP bar because I just you know, I wanted more color. I don't, I don't like the straight up green experience. So we got some cool, some cool difference in my editing quality. I hope has gone up. I tested it in a, a single player world and I was trying to move around quickly and see if it had any like frame tearing or blurring because there was a little bit of blurring like if I would look around everything around here would just kind of mush together real quick but if I stayed still it was fine so hopefully I got that resolved I'm really hoping that um, I know Rusher said he was donating and I hope that that's going to be very helpful for the server as in like maybe upping the cap and uh, I've heard that they are changing the the queue system to hopefully be more of like a hub but you would just kind of pop into a world instead of having to have, have a reconnect mod installed and a downside that I heard which is slightly understandable but also kind of stupid is that anyone who had been playing before like June something will skip the queue so that means that some people are to be on the server over others which like I said it's understandable but at the same time like you're kind of deterring new people from wanting to stay for a while you know oh I did not light this up oops gonna have to hurry I don't know so I'm just hoping that they're if, if they're gonna do that type of skipping the queue system I hope that there's a way for newer people to not have to play for like 17 years to be able to be added to that list, you know? Like, I mean, I've been playing every couple of days. I mean, I was playing every day for like a solid week there. I'd actually like to figure out my uh, playtime on this server and I don't know how. Well, someone just said that there's a 3 million mile, or not mile, million block limit to the server. So apparently, uh, it sounds like the barrier was set at 3 million. Interesting. <laughs> okay, some other people are uh, refuting that, so disregard. Oh, there's another spawner before I leave here. Awesome. And that, oh, it's a zombie. I'm nice enough to not just destroy these spawners. <laughs> so if anyone happens to find this area, there's a spider spawner, a zombie spawner, and skeleton spawner in relatively close proximity. Like the uh, the spider and skeleton are like over this way, like right over here, right past that water. Ooh, I got a third golden apple. That means that there were two of these in relatively close proximity. Holy crap. Oh, that bucket just came back to me, damn. Only one chest? Yeah. Alright, well that was cool. Nice little find uh, a little bit before I leave. Wow, okay. Just found another village. Hold on. Wait. Might be dumb. I think this is the same one. Yeah, I think so. If that's a desert. <laughs> for, for a second, I thought I was traveling in a different direction. I know the villagers can plant, so my stuff wouldn't be there still. We now have a disco sheep. Just kind of chilling at this village. You're welcome for whoever finds it. I think you get the name tag back when you kill him. So, you're welcome. So, I got a comment mentioning I should probably convey a little bit more of, like, why it is that I'm neutral, or I guess how. 
So, because I'm not involved with this war. I'm not helping either side. I'm not actively trying to destroy this server or its monuments. Therefore, I'm neutral. It's time. I tried. I was trying to find an enderman. There are absolutely no hostile mobs away from spawners. Nothing. They don't spawn. I, like, I can't wait. I'll have to worry about that later. It's time to bid this place adieu. For just a second there, I kind of forgot where this portal would take me, and I was like, where the hell am I? Like, oh my god, I'm in someone's base. Kind of, kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> so I'm going to be traveling in the nether for a little while, and then uh, stop somewhere in the nether and set up shop for enchanting a little bit more. And that's kind of my plan. It's going to take a while... For me to, to go exactly where I want to go. And I don't even know where that is yet. But I know it's going to take a while. Because uh, my... The furthest coordinate that I have can get further. Ooh. Like, I know I can go further. And then I'll feel safer enough to find a plot of land, you know. I'd find it kind of awesome if... If while I was doing this and you, you saw like a sneak peek of like just this little area and you're like, there's no way. And you like hop on the game and you get in here and you come out of your portal and you look and you see this little area and you're like, whoa, like I know where he is or something like that. Like, that'd be kind of amazing if like, if a person who's near me in game happens to watch the video and happens to notice it and remember the area. That'd be pretty cool, though. Ooh, not loading. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> it's like confetti. Oh, what? Whoa! That was weird. I forgot they joined together, but that was, that was kind of weird looking. In other news, that Pokemon Go, though... Psh, when it's online, it's good. It's cool. Except, uh, what I've noticed is nearby me happen to be no Pokemon. It's sad. Has anyone ever asked the one of the um wow. Can't think of the word. The people who make the game. Have anyone asked them about the whole mushroom spawning outside of reach in the nether thing? Because that's kinda weird. Like I know things can spawn here, things can be placed here. I placed an item here before, you know, the the railroad track. But if you're not supposed to be able to get up here anyway, why are there mushrooms up there? That's just wasting space, right? I mean, that's ju it's just spawning things that we can't get to or shouldn't be able to. What would actually be pretty awesome is that if uh, Minecraft came, I don't know, It'd be pretty awesome if there was some sort of super end game way to maybe move or delete bedrock. But definitely not pick it up because that's way too OP. But if you could move it, not like a piston. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'd say. If you could somehow have a way of moving the bedrock to make like an opening in the top or the bottom of the nether and then, you know, the bottom of the overworld, that would be cool. Like if you could somehow do something and it would just kind of open up, like it would, maybe it would just delete the pieces or or maybe it would be a cool animation that these pieces just kind of shift and break the, the netherrack around it and just open up for you. I don't know. It would be something interesting, and then we could take use of the the area on top of the nether that people already take use of and love it up there because it's so easy to make mob farms. 
it'd probably be, well, possibly be beneficial to the game. If they could somehow restrict it to only being usable at this area, or this height, and the, the height at the bottom. Oh my god, Siri, I'm not talking to you. Go away. Just don't look across signs of human activity in the nether. And I've been traveling for quite a while. So yeah, definitely back back where I came from is, uh, that was a pocket of unexplored area. Because over here, as you can tell, there's no lava floating around. And if I hit O, there's no ore. Like, it doesn't highlight anything. So, there's just areas that people skipped over in the map. And now people, like me, are going through some of them and getting new chunks in very, very close proximity to spawn relative to uh, the furthest people out, I guess. And thank you everyone who has subscribed. It's been like two weeks since I had like 51 subs and I, I had those 50 like slowly, slowly accumulated in the past. I don't even know how long I've had this channel. <laughs> and then all of a sudden after playing 2B2T and making some videos, like holy crap, people found me. And well, hello, welcome. I've gotten like ridiculous skyrocketing percentage increases on videos and like views and subs of course i'm like right now i think the last time i looked it was like 4 15 which probably not still there anymore because it, oh oh god okay god people it seems like uh there are certain hours that uh are more heavily um subscriber I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. There's more subscribers certain times. <laughs> Jesus. But thank you, everyone who has subscribed. I have not fully gotten into any schedule, but I was thinking something like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So it's every other day, including Saturday, to, to start the new, you know, every other day thing. And that would just work out easier for me if I can get that to work fine. Because, I mean, Friday and Saturday, it's like weekend days. So I'm going to have to try to get on that schedule. Once I'm actually, like, in the swing of things doing that schedule, then I think it'll be easier. But trying to make sure I have time to do all of that and still do, I don't know, day-to-day -day stuff. I don't know. It'll be interesting. And soon I am going home for three weeks. Uh, I will be bringing my laptop, but I don't know how much I'm going to record while I'm there because I haven't been home in like, I don't know, it'll be 11 months, 10 months, something like that. Hold on. It'll be about 10 months since I had been home. And I just want to not worry about a lot of things so I'm probably gonna pre-record a little bit or like record just before leaving and postpone when I'd actually post it so you're not getting like five videos one day wait three weeks and then you'll have like a video you know it'll be a little bit more spaced out and more manageable with my time never have I ever traveled this much in the nether before like Holy crap, this is ridiculous. And I'm like barely moved. Like, if I were on the map between me and I mean me at spawn and a million, I'd be like I don't know. Maybe one tenth? Maybe? No. No, I don't think I'm even there yet. I don't know. But holy crap. I mean, so far, I haven't even found a player's base. So, I don't know. Either they're really good at hiding it, or I'm just not good at looking for them, even though I'm not looking. But maybe, oh, maybe I'll be able to find a decent spot. Oh, God. Wow, I almost fell. So we're approaching this heavily lava populated area. I can see quartz 
We're definitely in newer chunks. Probably still not 1.10, but who knows. I hate when that happens, jeez. So I've got a question. Do any of you recall Ko's quest? Because that was definitely one of the first Minecraft series to like teach me how to play the game or just, I don't know, interesting things on YouTube that I had watched like a handful of years ago. And I'm pretty sure Ko is back, but I think he's mostly streaming now, which I'm, I'm happy he's back. Seem like um, making YouTube videos for that long, or maybe not just that long, I mean like in, during the later portion, he wasn't in a great place, so I'm, I'm glad that he is better than where he was off. But, man, I'd like me another Coast Quest or a continuation. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> I've also been thinking about trying to get out to Minecon one of these times, and uh, it seems like I'm at a good, like, I don't know, a good place to be able to worry about travel and cost, so I'm thinking next year, if possible, and I'm going to be trying to get my friend to go, so I'm not just going to be in a completely new area all alone, you know, like, not knowing anyone. Uh, it sucks that, I mean, I didn't know anything about Minecon this year, and it's happening in California, which is, like, two states away from me. Wait, hold on. I, I might be really stupid. I don't know where it is. Hold on. Nope, I was wrong. Definitely touching the state that I'm in. Not two states away. I'm just horrible with geography and history and English. That's the set point. Is it just me, or is it whenever you get onto BTT, like, a good solid maybe hour later, you have to go to the bathroom, like, you've never gone to the bathroom your entire life, and it's just been building up. You know? And I don't just want to leave this AFK. I mean, I, I have a couple minutes, I know, but, like, what if, just by chance, I walk away, and then right then, someone finds me, and just wrecks me. Like, I'm gonna be pissed off after I go relieve myself. <laughs> I'm at that stage now. That, that's why I'm bringing it up. <laughs> like, I gotta pee. So I found this little little area uh, away from lava enough so that I know that this isn't just gonna burn up. And now we get to a little bit of enchanting. So I got a bunch of books while I was at that village. I don't know if that was actually made it into the recording. I mean, it was just me breaking bookshelves. I don't think I ever included it. But I got a bunch. And that's cool. I mean, I could get more than that, which I'd rather get feather falling. See, I don't have the most space because I'm trying to like only keep certain items in here like these are just awesome picks that i don't want to hold in case i die i don't want everything to lose you know so i got all the the blocks of valuable items and i've got a couple more spaces i could use this is just for like potions if i want to make splash potions later i've just been collecting it or uh i mean i don't really care about tnt it's not a faction server i can just break anything but I do have enough room to put a couple books, if I find that necessary. I do want to try for a better set of pants. Wow, did I... I seriously just got a duplicate of the pants that I'm wearing. Wow. Screw that. I guess we'll try again. Well, just as I'm breaking, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Smite, nope. Another fire protection, not what I want. 
If I can get Feather Falling 4, I can just put it on here. But I can't have a different type of protection. I don't know what happens after that. Like, I don't know if you can even combine it at all. Because you can't tell it not to combine one of them. 1.10 chunk confirmed. This area is definitely very new. It's because I'm here. Because we got the magma block spawning. That's pretty cool. So another YouTuber that plays Minecraft that I like is Etho, Etho's Lab, because he's awesome. He does a lot of cool redstone stuff, and I've been watching him for a while. I like his perspective of the game. And also, fun little fun fact, <laughs> I don't know I had to say fun twice there, but uh, I was watching one of his episodes, and someone asked him what his favorite music disc was in a comment, and he said it was Ward, W-A-R-D. That happens to be my favorite. So we are obviously best friends. We just haven't met yet. Yeah, so if I do happen to get another record, and I eventually, you know, get Ward, I'm keeping that. <laughs> I'm keeping that like it's more valuable than Diamond. This game really wants to give me Death Strider. I was not trying to get that. I was hoping that with Blast Protection I'd get something. I don't know. Well, I mean, this isn't the worst. At least it's not straight up protection. And I get something extra. But I don't care. Who's going to need Blast Protection? No one's going to be launching TNT at me. We're good. We don't want you here. And Smite. Mm, I'll just hold on to it just because I have space. But if I don't need space, you're the first to go. Alright, a lot. I'm gonna do one more. I'm just gonna enchant this. Well, let me see what's there. I'll enchant it. But I kinda want that Aqua Vanity book. Huh. Well, I'll decide that while I'm getting three more levels. Get in the book. And it just happens to have protection. Not that I need it. But, sure. Well, that's it for today. I will catch you next time, which will be soon, sooner than later. Yeah. See ya!